All right, we're here for game number one with the Black Singleton Devotion deck. Yeah, this is a keep. Got two good things to do on turn two. Hopefully we'll draw a third land by then. If we just curve out like so, should be pretty good. Glistener Elf. Glistener Elf. We're in just for fun room, right? Okay. Just making sure. Green, black, in fact. Maybe our opponent will tap out for a pump spell now. I doubt it, but... Maybe he's loco, like his name implies. So I would love to cast Wrench Mind here, but I don't think it would be very responsible to tap out when I have a removal spell. And if I tap out, I could just die. Frickin' infect. Oh my god, this should not... I mean, he doesn't have all the... How can you afford an Ink Moth Nexus, but not, like, Overgrown Tomb? That's that's weird. I don't even have this card, because it's too fucking expensive. So you don't cast it here. I mean, maybe in response... Ground swell, okay. Because then he does another pump spell and we just lose. If he has a pump slash protection spell, you know? Like vines or blessing or blossoming defenses. Because then once I tapped out, then he could just kill me, you know? I don't know if he's just debating whether or not he's going to protect it. No. So either he didn't have a protection spell. Oh, God, that would have been so good. Had I not already used this, I should be. I mean, maybe I should have saved it for that, but I had no idea I was going to draw that. I think our best way of protecting ourselves here is Wrench Mind. Although, that could power up a. a um, whatever that plus six plus six card is, the Delve Pump. Oh, so he did have Apostle Blessing. Alright. I mean, if I don't die here, which is doubtful, I'm pretty sure I'll die. I could play Desecration Demon. As a potential blocker, but... Even that's a little unlikely to succeed. Okay, great. That was fun interactive game of magic. All right, well, we want that. <coughs> and 
maybe get rid of one of our slower things here, like Soren's Vengeance. Maybe play Surgical and get rid of Grizzlebrand too, because we're just not going to have enough time to get there. I don't have ways to cheat them out, really. It's just actual hard casting them, so. I do have a bunch of removal spells, so it's possible I could fight through this, but this could be really clutch. Tap out and get them in, res you know, in response to a pump spell. Yeah, if Infect was a big thing in your metagame, Slaughter Pack seems like a great plan. Although the fact that he's green-black is worrisome, because um, a lot of my shit is just uh, target non-black creature, so... I mean, I guess... All right, he went down to five. Okay, this is a good sign. Five and bottom. Let's see. Five and bottom, all right. Well, that should give us a little bit of time to draw into more removal, hopefully. Ooh, white too. Abzan, in fact, huh? Glistener Elf. We are not going to fuck around. <laughs> we are going to just kill that. Mold, mulling solo. With that deck, whenever I played that deck, it was either you had all pump and just one threat or vice versa, you know, so not going to be shy about removing their creatures because generally you're only playing like 15, 12 to 15 creatures in the infect deck, so it should buy us lots of time. Get in a few points of damage here. I'll couch your eyes out. Ah, itchy. All right. That was a good draw. I guess I could have attacked with this too, but. Don't think that's going to make a huge difference. All right. this point it's going to be super hard for him to come back from all this probably just got a handful of pump spells and nothing else all right we did it so game plan is hope your opponent mulligans to five <laughs> Right?
All right. Gonna be a long wait. All right. Two removal spells. Ink Moth. Okay, so we're gonna use Go for the Throat on the non Ink Moth <laughs> creature. And save Doom Blade for Ink Moth. And if they have the protection spell, we probably just lose, but we'll see. Get it get at me for one. Icker Claw Mirror. Well, there goes that plan. Alright, if I live to Obnix, I can Sorcery Speed kill something, but doesn't help much against the Nexus. Okay. That gives me a target for go for the throat. That's cool. Black Knight is no good here. I don't really want to tap out and play Underworld Dreams. If you regenerate something, does the minus one counter still stay on it? I think so, right? I'm hoping to stay alive long enough to use this to kill Iker Claw Mirror. But if he goes for equip here, I'm definitely killing it. Hmm, no. No equip, so he has something. Plague Stinger, huh? Okay, Doom Blade that. <sighs> the flyers are kind of trouble. Stuck on only black mana here. Okay, another one of those. Gary. Well, that might be a way to steal the game if I can get some damage through here. Although, if he has, if his last card is Apostle's Blessing, I just lose.
and it isn't. Cool. So he doesn't. Does he have enough mana to activate that and double equip? Yeah, he does. I'm just dead. Alright. Well, we tried. Not exactly a fair fight. What the fuck was that? Let's try to get something more more fair this time. 